told my wife that I never loved her and that I settled for her because I couldn't marry my girl best friend. She left but I now want her back. I have a girl best friend named Kathy. We met in elementary school and we were very close. I was deeply in love with her and spiked her drink once to try sleep with her in middle school, but she moved out of the country and married someone else. She doesn't know about what I attempted back in the day, and so she comes to visit me twice a year. Now, two years ago a chubby 30-year-old divorced woman with two children became my neighbor. I wanted to be nice and went to say hello to her and see if she needed help with some furniture when in reality I just wanted I've always had a thing for bigger women. We did And after that my neighbor Lucy started flirting with me and being clingy. She started bringing me food out of nowhere and looking for any excuse to talk. We slept together a lot and to be honest at the time I was only using her for One of the times Kathy flew to visit me and when she got to my house, Lucy was with me. It was a little awkward at that moment. Kathy mentioned that she didn't like Lucy because she seemed very fake to her and that Lucy was probably just looking for a man to support her children. I told Kathy that I really wasn't interested in Lucy I just like to sleep with her. A few months later Lucy invited me to dinner at a fancy restaurant. I wasn't really interested in her but I accepted because I wanted She asked me out and I told her that I'll date her if she gives me of the cab on the way home, and she did just that. We dated for about 10 months and then she proposed to me. We got married, not something I really wanted but I suppose this is where life was taking me. But my marriage to Lucy didn't always go well, and it was entirely my fault. All our fights were about my best friend Kathy. I talked to my best friend every day, I cancelled our plans with. Lucy to chat with Kathy, I talked bad about my wife to her. I remember making fun of my wife to Kathy, saying that my wife has more roles than a baker. I also made fun of Lucy to Kathy in front of her, showing Lucy the text with pride. She was so in love with me however she never left me or even denied me. Sure I had to get her to drink sometimes to get it, but that's just a detail. Well, five weeks ago we had a pretty big fight. I told her that I was in love with Kathy and that no woman, including a big fat whale like her, was going to be like her. I told her I settled for Lucy because Kathy was already married. I also told Lucy that I felt trapped in the marriage and that she forced me into marriage and the only thing I ever wanted from her was She stayed pretty quiet. After that fight she started to look dull, she hardly spoke and she preferred to sleep in the room with her children, and when she slept in our bed she simply turned her back on me. When she did that I took it as a sign of her wanting to do it, but she told me to stop. I started feeling guilty when this happened, and so two weeks later I told Lucy that I was coming home early from work. I wanted to take her to dinner to apologize and tell her that I wanted to go to couples therapy and make this work. But when I got home she gave me the divorce papers and she apologized to me for forcing me to get married and wasting my time. We were only married for six months. Before I could say anything she left, she had already taken out several of her things and her children's things. Her brother came for the rest of the things and me and him got into a fight because I told him to tell his WH to get back to the house. He ended up breaking my nose but I'm too prideful to call the ambulance so I tried to deal with it myself. Anyway, I've tried to contact Lucy but she blocked me everywhere. I'm really so sorry. I miss her and I miss the children, they were always going to welcome. Me with a hug. They are quite affectionate children. The thing is, before the whole fight between us happened, Lucy's eight-year-old daughter invited me to her dance recital and I forgot to throw away my ticket and still have it. Should I go?